hey this is joystick news today we're stepping out of our gaming realm and diving into the cinematic wastelands of post-apocalyptic co with badland hunters the latest netflix original that's been searing up dust and excitements in equal measure since its global drop on january 26th buckle up because we're about to reveal the greedy detail the explosive ending and the whispers about a potential sequel that's got everyone talking. Badland Hunters isn't your typical Netflix flick. It sneaked out the platform with little fanfare, yet it clawed its way into Netflix's top 10 list worldwide. How? Well, it seems this action-packed trail found its audience in the shadows, without the need of flashy trailers or massive billboards. And let's be real, in today's digital age, that's not small feat. For those who've been living under a rock, or you know just busy gaming, Badland Hunters follow the aftermath of catastrophic earthquake that's left South Korea in ruins. Among the survivors is Namsan, a hunter with skills so sharp they might as well be from a video game. Alongside an ambitious young, Jisan, they uncover a dark plot by a mad scientist. It's a tale of survival, betrayal, and a fight for a semblance of normalcy in a world gone mad. But here is the kicker. Badland Hunters is technically a sequel to Concrete Utopia, yet the connection between the two is as thin as post-apocalyptic supplies, different casts, crew, and even a contrasting tone. But Climax Studio, the brain behind both films, decide to link them with the kind of boldness only seen in the wasteland they depict. And guess what? It works. Badland Hunter stands tall on its own, a testament to storytelling that doesn't need the predecessor to make its mark. Now let's talk ending because oh boy, without giving away the farm, let's just say it involves mad science, a quest for immortality, and a showdown that would make any action enthusiast's heart race. It's got twists, turns, and grenade for good measure. And in a world where it hasn't rained in years, the final bring a shower of hope that might just hint a, a more story to come from this universe. With the Rotten Tomatoes score that's as healthy as the survival of its film, Badland Hunter boosts an 89% rating from critics and a slightly more grounded 62 from audience reviews. Not too shabby for a film that's tiptoe onto the scene. It's a blend of excellent action scenes, a solar cast, and just enough Konzo twists to keep you glued to the scene. So, the burning question. Should we gear up for another trip to the Bad Lands? The ender of Bad Lands Hunter leaves the door open, just a crack with the promise of new beginning and perhaps more adventures in the ravaged world. And considering the film's surprising success, it would be out of the question for Netflix and Climax Studio to explore this universe further. But what do you think, folks? Are you ready to dive back into the chaos of post-apocalyptic CO? Or do you think Badland Hunters wrapped up its story with the perfect bow? Drop your thoughts, theories, and survival tips in the comments below. We're all ears and ready for the debate. And that's a wrap on today's cinematic expedition. If you love this breakdown and are carving more reviews, previews, and all things entertainment, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Until next time, this is Joystick News signing off. Keep watching, keep gaming, and stay stellar, everyone.